Good evening, humans. Transfer Smoth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Predator 2 Ultimate Snake Predator from NECA Toys. Question is, does this hold up in the pantheon of Predators we have from NECA? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this is one good-looking Predator, and uh, I will, I'm admittedly biased here because this has a lot of design elements that I personally like. Uh, one of the things that drew me to it, and uh, you know, but overall, we do have pretty much the same uh, buck that we've been getting for a lot of the Predators. So, you know, torso and legs, uh, pretty much all the way down to the toes are pretty much features we have seen on many, many NECA Predators before. Uh, however, we do get some new pieces with the uh, forearms here, which are wrapped. You know, he doesn't have the gauntlets uh, with the blade. And, uh, you know, so a little bit more of a primal look. We do get some fur, which is actually a very, very nice touch to this design. Uh, and the belt. I believe is different. I'm not sure if that's on another Predator or not, but uh, you know, very, very cool look, very nice metallics and kind of aged bronze. Uh, then we have this belt piece, which kind of comes in front and uh, you get that as well as continuing that same kind of aged metal look. Um, and then the face of this Predator. So very similar to Predators we've seen before, but this really points out the where the name comes from. And uh, you know, I'm very much a fan of this pattern, clearly inspired by a, uh, back rattlesnake and just looks very 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 nicely done uh, paint is super super crisp the slight gloss really kind of drives it home makes it look a little more realistic and just the the crispness in both the sculpt and paint on the face itself are absolutely top-notch like next level like looks I, just absolutely fantastic definitely a little bit of an extended jaw there as well um, if I can get this to focus pardon me there we go so you can see kind of the jaw jutting out there, kind of a cool expression for a predator. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's more, more of a basic look for a predator, but I definitely dig that. So uh, yeah, that's aesthetics. We get a fantastic loadout of accessories as we do with all the NECA predators. So let's jump right in. Uh, first off, we do have two head sculpts. We looked at the default one, the unmasked one. Uh, before and then we get a second head sculpt with the bio mask. I definitely prefer when they do the separate head sculpts just because you know, I don't have to worry about the, the mask falling off. I love this design, like hands down, definitely a top tier, probably top three <laughs> bio mask design, I think, like kind of almost the teeth look, look in the front, uh, just the right amount of like kind of cybernetic detail and uh, love the very brilliant shade of silver and this nice dry brush of kind of a, a like, Copper, copper patina, something of that nature, and just looks really, really good. So that's fantastic addition there. Uh, then we get a set of hands. So right out of the box, we get our requisite splayed out hands. Then we get one left hand, which is kind of a wider grip. Then we get a right tighter grip. And finally, a right smart disc holding hand. I like that they do that. And that is for the named smart disc. So we get one closed and then we get one open. Always welcome. So that's excellent. Then further on weapons, we do get the staff in two different forms. So we get one fully extended. As you can see, the business ends are silver and then it goes into this very nice gold. And then the handle is a little bit more uh, in congruent with the uh, snake predator's look, it's a little more pr a little more primitive. Primitive, pardon me. Uh, looks kind of more like a wrap, a little more organic, which is pretty cool. And then we get to see that folded up, so you see the handle with just the kind of little bit of gold and silver kind of poking out on either side. So it's very very nice. Then we get two of these signature weapons, these kind of like fang-looking blades. Really excellent detail all around. Great shade of silver. Very nice matte black. Just uh, really cool looking overall. It's a great job to them there. And finally, we get, as we get with many, many predators, a trophy. So we just get a skull and a spinal cord. And it's, there's no articulation there. It's just, you know, kind of this gray skull with some kind of these sickly green accents. And uh, yeah, so that'll do it for accessories. Articulation here is pretty nice. And as you can see, we do have a freestanding kick. However, this did take some considerable time and I'm a little worried about this falling in the next couple of seconds. So uh, let's get this down and look at the articulation in general. So we are on a bit of a ball joint. There's kind of a peg that comes into the head, a ball joint at the base of the neck. That's gonna allow us to look down that far and look up 
to work with it really, really nicely. We get that. Um, there's our neutral. And then we get lots of nice tilt because the room under that head sculpt, always welcome. Our arms are coming up into a perfect T because this armor piece is attached to the bicep, which does swivel. We get double jointed elbows, bring us there. We get hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal. We get a ball joint at the diaphragm and a ball joint at the waist. However, uh, because of the sculpt, we're not really getting a lot of range. So we're not going to get some crazy, crazy crunch. We do get a little bit forward. We do get a little bit back and a uh, little bit of side to side, but nothing crazy. So that's, it's still better than what they had before, which was all the, the entire torso being a solid piece. So, you know, take your victories where you get them. Uh, as for the legs, we come down and uh, could almost do full splits. We're a little hindered because of the smart disc holder here on the right leg. So there's that. You can see in that assembly, we do get some thigh swivel there. We got some double jointed knees bringing us to there. And then finally for the feet, we get both rotation and a little bit of point, much better forward. And then a decent amount of rocker as well. So that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here it is with some other Predator figures. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse vs. Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Ultimate Snake Predator from NECA Toys is that this is an awesome figure. Uh, definitely another solid entry into NECA's Predator uh, pantheon, I guess, as, as I had said earlier. And yeah, yeah if, you, if you know what you're getting into with the Predators, absolutely pick this up. Uh, if you just like Predators in general, definitely worth your time. So uh, yeah, this is hitting, uh, I actually got this at a Target. Uh, so it's showing up on shelves right now as of the week that I'm recording this video, um, but is also in various online shops as well. Um, including Entertainment Earth, who I happen to be an affiliate of. Uh, actually, as I record this, there's one left, and I just posted about it on Twitter, so uh, it might not be there, and hopefully they get restocked. Um, but in any event, uh, I will have links down below and re related to the Entertainment Earth thing. Anyway, uh, if you want 10% off your purchase of in-stock items or free shipping on anything over $59, just use the code that shows up down here. Uh, and yeah, that would actually help out the channel. And speaking of which, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. All of those things definitely help the channel. There are other ways, including what I just mentioned with the affiliate ship, <laughs> um, that will be listed at the bottom of the description as well. So uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. And uh, you know, I hope you join me again because I do at least three reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. Uh, so yeah, let's talk some toys. And with all that being said, I hope that you are well. I hope that all your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.